Hi, it's Dave here. Welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick introduction to Burstcoin. Uh, a lot of people have asked me recently what I'm mining, um, what altcoins I, I kind of like, what I'm kind of buying, what I'm holding this year. And um, one of the the main ones that I'm actually kind of mining at the moment is is actually Burstcoin. Um, and it's a little bit different to, to most um, most altcoins and, and indeed Bitcoin in that it uses something called a proof of capacity rather than proof of work or some coins more recently have used a proof of stake but this uses something called proof of capacity instead um, and the main difference between say mining something like kind of Bitcoin or, or Ethereum for example it's where you're you know basically you know trying to solve a trying to solve an equation and it's an incredibly processor or, or GPU or, or ASIC rich so it, it's incredibly power intensive and one of the nice things about Burstcoin is that it's, it's relatively kind of green as 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 mining goes and that's because basically just to answer kind of what if, is proof of capacity instead of using a huge amount of computing power it uses hard disk space so the way it kind of works very simply is the more hard disk space you have available you have plotted and you're mining upon um, that's kind of like having you know bigger and bigger miners so if you've got a, a two terabyte kind of hard drive that you're kind of mining that might be the equivalent just you know it's a very sort of rough example of ha having one kind of ASIC say like a, an amp miner a9 and then you know if you've got 10 terabytes or 20 terabytes 40 terabytes 100 terabytes it's like having more and more miners or more and more powerful miners so instead of sort of mining speed as such it's it's actually capacity based um, so if you're interested in taking a look at it um, the main kind of site you you should go to first probably is burst-team.us and if you go here you can download a wallet it's got some information about the coin um, what proof of capacity and, and the network and and various other bits and pieces um, but the first thing you probably want to do is just go down to um, download the wallet um, and there's two options you can either download a, a wallet locally um, which if you are interested in mining is probably the easiest way to do it because it's got a built-in mining and, uh, and plotting um, and I'll go on to these sort of topics in a second um, but if you're just interested in kind of buying a few speculatively or you can mind just using the online version um, and it's a lot quicker to get up and running um, the online version you just sign up literally kind of online for an account and you've got an account you know within seconds um, there's Windows Mac Linux and they've also got an Android app which is which is quite interesting and if you are going to download um, a wallet rather than use the online one I really suggest you download the blockchain um, rather than allowing it to sync I'd, I'd say that's the same for almost all kind of coins that have been running for more than you know a few months if you download the wallet and let it sync it it can take hours if not days so um, if you want to download the wallet it's an all-in-one kind of wallet that includes mining and plotting and everything like that um, there's versions for different operating systems as I said but grab the blockchain it will make your life a little bit easier um, I just use the online version um, and you can do that and you can set up your your mining separately and I will o go over my mining setup currently I've got about 25 terahash oh, sorry I'm going mad 25 terabytes of of hard disk space and I've just today actually just received another 20 terabytes so I'm going to be plotting and mining on those um, the other site that, that's really interesting um, before I get on to kind of plotting and mining is burstnation.com um, and there's far more of a kind of community feel here there's um, you know the stereotypical kind of shout box but there's there's an active forum here there's also a radio station um, it's quite an active community which I think is, is quite nice and if you go here there's lots of advice you can ask people that they're very friendly there's also lots of kind of giveaways and, and, and bits and bobs like that so you can get some some free burst you know if you're just starting out so burst nation you know I really recommend signing up there and um, and, and using that as well so um, this is just here this is my my online wallet um, you can just see here this is the account balance um, there's a recent transactions list um, there's a forged balance this is um, actually um, from my mining kind of efforts so you can see here these are all the kind of blocks I've mined this is um, the date that they were mined these are the transaction fees etc etc um, one of the other things that I, I can talk about this at more 
detail in another video but it, it's quite a, an in-depth thing but they have a, a, a built-in asset uh, asset exchange which is which is quite interesting but it's it, it's a little bit complex to go into now so I think we'll leave that for for another video but um, this is the online wallet um, you can use this and you can kind of mine to this you need a wallet in order to be able to mine because your need um, in order to kind of plot your hard drives you will need um, a burst address and then a burst ID so if we go back this is burst nation like I've just talked about and then the bursting this is where you get the wallet it's also got information on on exchanges and, and mining and um, I'd really recommend if you're new to kind of mining burst going have a look here because within the mining section there's links to some good videos but um, I'll post in the comment section or in the info section below um, there's a chap who has a fantastic YouTube channel called iMine Blocks and he's got set uh, sort of step-by-step -step instructions for plotting hard drives mining you know some more technical stuff that you might get into later sort of optimizing plots and stuff like that but have a look at his videos they're fantastic um, and you know you should be able to get all the information I used his when I started mining sort of a month or so ago um, so the main sort of mining kind of things I won't go into the technicalities here but you basically you you assign space on a on a hard drive and what happens is that you plot that space what's termed plotting that space and basically it's I don't know anybody who remembers that you know the old days of sort of Windows sort of 311 stuff like that when you'd have to format a hard drive and there was no kind of quick format and it, it would take kind of hours and hours it's kind of like that so it's going through basically and building sort of pre building these plots and then those plots have to be built once only have to be built once and then when you mine those plots basically you point, point the miner to your hard drive spaces um, where, where you have your plots and every four minutes it's a four minute uh, block time on Burstcoin every four minutes your miner will whip through all your kind of plots and find a deadline and basically the shorter the deadline it finds the better so the first person or the lowest deadline to submit to to the network basically mines the block so if you have um you know it scans through so you've got 10 terabytes it scans through in sort of 20 seconds and it finds a, a block of like 10 minutes and it submits that to the network then if nobody else within that block has a deadline shorter than 10 minutes when 10 minutes is up you know that your block will be submitted or your deadline will be submitted to the network and you'll win that block um, I'd recommend when you start off probably pull mine um, if you go to uh, back here if you go to burstnation.com um, there's lots of people talking about pools there's been a bit of upheaval recently with some pools going down and some being taken offline but um, go there and, and they can recommend good pools to you whether you've got you know half a terabyte one terabyte 50 terabytes 100 terabytes so so basically that's kind of how it works you you plot a hard drive space or a space on a hard drive doesn't have to be a hold hard drive you plot it once and then you run a miner and the reason it's so good is that it only has to run every time a new block is found so as I said there's a four minute block time so it can be you know because it's variable it can be as low as a few seconds it sometimes can go up to maybe 10 or 15 minutes for a block it's very unusual to see one more than sort of 10 15 minutes but um, that's the kind of that's the block time it's a four minute average so every four minutes your miner will run and there are CPU and GPU miners the GPU ones are fractionally quicker I use the CPU one um, I'm sort of scanning through 25 terabytes in 30 seconds ish so that's that's fine and it's got a um, you get some little bit more information kind of back from from the CPU miner as opposed to the GPU if you have a huge amount of disk space that you're actually kind of dedicating to mining then then maybe use the GPU one to keep your uh, ideally you want to be mining sort of all your plots or scanning through all your plots every time a new blocks found in sort of 30 ish seconds 30 to 40 seconds any more than that and you might start to lose very short deadlines so for example if it takes a minute to scan through all your kind of hard drive spaces you might uh, near the end of your plots find a deadline of 50 seconds or sorry you might find a deadline of say 30 seconds but if somebody's found a deadline of, of 40 seconds and actually submitted that and it's been accepted before you've actually got to your your 30 second kind of block you, you might miss out so I think it's you know say 30 seconds as a, a sort of uh, a ballpark figure of what you want to be scanning all your hard drives in um, so that's 
just a quick outline of it I'll just pop over to uh, Poloniex here and we can have a look at the price because the price of burst has been going up massively recently if we if we take a look this is just um, I think uh, six hour 24 hour average if we look at um, say the last month so when I got into kind of burst it was somewhere around here so it was about a hundred about 180 um, and it went all the way up to what's that it's gone up to almost kind of 800 800 ish for for short periods of time and it's, it's settled back now somewhere between sort of four four and five hundred so um, there's been a big increase even at 400 it's more than doubled doubled in value and it's um, as of today one burst is worth approximately one cent um, US so you know I think it's got potential I think it's got the potential to go to you know five ten cents a burst over the next kind of few months there's some quite interesting stuff that um, they're doing in the community it's quite an active community and um, certainly over on burst nation particularly um, there is a chap called Adam who's who's doing a lot of marketing kind of work and there's been a bit of some issues like you often get in a community between various people in in the kind of competing kind of communities as it were but um he's doing a huge amount um it, it burstcoin will soon be listed on bitsla um if anybody sort of gambles online they might have heard of bits for it's I think it's probably the second or third largest online casino where you can kind of um, you can gamble with with uh, Bitcoin sort of ethereum doge and um, they will soon be implementing kind of burst coin into their interface I think there's only four one of four or five currencies um, and there's other bits and pieces um being developed all the time so I think it's got it's got a future I think it's got it's got legs it's quite nice because it really is decentralized you can start literally with uh, your smartphone you can mine on a smartphone there's a pool dedicated to smartphone mining if you have like you know a 256 meg SD card you're not really going to be be mining a lot but it, it can get somebody you know people into the into the community but you know if you've got a couple of old you know external hard drives or an old you know a couple of internal hard drives you can plug into your desktop and and mine with you know you will you will generate some coins and um, you know if it does go to you know 10 cents or so you know you could you could do pretty well out of it but um it doesn't cost a lot of electricity you need your machine running all the time but you can run the miner off of a laptop um if you've got a lot of you know disks you know I'd recommend using a, a desktop and you know if it's got a graphics card in it you can use that same desktop to mine say ethereum or or, or zcash or, or something like that at the same time but um i will follow up this video with another one um of my setup as i said i've got about 25 terabytes at the moment that i'm mining with and i've got another 20 terabytes at the moment so i can uh, maybe i'll do some videos sort of running you through um, sort of setting up new hard drives on my system but I'll give you a, an overview on my system on another video but um, for now that's it thanks for um, listening and uh, thanks for for watching even and um, you know um, give it a thumbs up if you like it please subscribe to the channel it's, it's quite new and I'm still finding my feet as to what kind of videos people want but um, you know it's always nice to get some comments so if you've if it's been useful or, or even if it hasn't you know let me know let me know what you'd like in future videos and um, hopefully I will see you again soon thank you very much bye bye